What's up guys, it's KF3 Print Technology. For this video, we're going to be unboxing and doing a first impressions type video of the right 3D resin 3 printer. I think that's the correct brand name of it. Crowdsupply.com is a alternative Kickstarter type website with a relatively new 3D printer manufacturer. So, I found this 3D printer on previous to Instagram feed and the big selling point for this printer was that it was under a hundred dollars and it's a resin 3 printer so that caught my interest so I'm not expecting a high quality printer like Form Labs but I'm expecting something that's decent quality and durable for that price Something that I can to get your feet wet into resin 3 printing. So this video is not going to be an, an assembly video. We're just going to be unboxing it. Giving impressions and going over the parts that came with it. So here's the box that we have that came in. So packaged pretty nicely. So move this box down. So we have what looks like to be a power supply that it came with. So this is sad. We have a, another box. So this is sad. And the invoice. That's it for that box. So here's the name of it, right? 3DP. I think you can see that. I do have a two kit part box that has some parts in it. That's it for that's it for that box. So this is the complete kit part B. Open that up. So we got some film and what looks to be the resin tank pieces. So opening the port box. So like before, here's the box with the resin tank pieces and some film. Here's the box with the majority of the ports. I do believe that we're going to have to 3D print some parts, like the case for the whole assembly of the printer and some other pieces. Don't think this part is printed, but there's a few of these parts. Looks like some of the Z axis pieces. And here is the. Control board and maybe screen. We have some screws and wrenches and such. What looks like to be one of the motors. A really small rail. Looks like the D rift piece. LCD screen or 
the screen for the printer. And plate. So it looks like the instructions are going to be online only. Didn't see any instruction packets with it. The parts appear to have a good quality t to them for a Kickstarter type printer. There is no frame pieces with it. So for the price, I think this is a good deal. Obviously, I'm not sure yet because I haven't tested the print quality out yet because it's not assembled. And I'm not for sure what type of slicer software that it uses. As if you watched our previous videos, you saw that we tested out the Spark Maker, which was a similar marketed item, a low budget resin type printer, which didn't turn out to be a. It didn't turn out to be good at all. But specifically, the Slicer software that they used was Chinese, English, very difficult to navigate. So hopefully this one turns out to be in a better situation. But like I said, we'll just have to see once we get all assembled and set up. Uh, the packaging is decent, pretty good. Everything seems to be labeled and in matching boxes. There is a lack of instructions. I'm assuming I'll have to find that online. It did not come with any resin. I'll also have to see what type of resin that uses. I know some resin printers like the Form Labs has some resin requirements, like they all can, can only use specific brands. I'm not sure on this one. I don't think that would be the case since it's a budget printer. But we'll have to find out. But other than that, I think this appears to be a decent value printer for under $100. I have my fingers crossed. So with that being said, that's going to wrap up the, this video. There will be a review type video of this coming soon in a few months. That depends on how long it takes to assemble all of it and get the video processed. There won't be an assembly video on this channel if there is one. It will be in association with 3 promopartcom on one of their social media channels. They haven't quite got that set up yet. But, anyways, thanks for watching. If I could be on to 80 videos first, make sure to click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.